Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be checking out some gameplay footage of Jury and Kimberly from Street Fighter VI. Uh, Capcom is about to do a broadcast and they have promised us gameplay, so I am up bright and early with that expectation in mind. Um, but before we get to that, I want to take a quick moment and talk a little bit about a partnership that I have just uh, begun to engage in. So check this out. Hey guys, I'm really excited to announce today that we are officially partnered with da, 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 Gamer Advantage! So if you guys know me, you know that I suffer from insomnia and for many many years I've had serious difficulty with sleeping. They give you a lot of advice for dealing with insomnia and one of the major things people say is to limit your screen time, especially shortly before you go to bed. But if you're someone like me, a content creator, or really anybody that works in front of screens all day long, you know that isn't necessarily a feasible thing to do. So enter Gamer Advantage. Um, Gamer Advantage, they specifically create glasses with lenses that are designed to help you with things like sleep issues, migraines, productivity, and I've only had these for about five days now guys, and I kid you not, I have already been having an easier time falling asleep, staying asleep, and I've been waking up feeling more rested, which for me is such a massive, huge upgrade in my life. Um, so I'm really excited about these and I'm happy to work with them and promote them. If you guys also deal with any of these issues or if you're just interested in checking out what Gamer Advantage has to offer, do go to their website, GamerAdvantage.com. There's a ton of different styles and colors that you can look into. Um, I'm wearing the Arbor in Dahlia, so I like pink. Um, but there's a variety that you can choose from. And if you decide to make a purchase, you can use code MOLLY to get 10% off. Um, I also just wanted to point out one other thing. I put this all together today so you can see on top of my glasses I am wearing a hat and headphones. So normally this would be an extremely uncomfortable situation. Feels great. The glasses are also extremely comfortable even underneath your headphones so that's a huge advantage as well. So I highly recommend them. Definitely check them out if you're interested. I'm excited to be partnered with them. Happy sleeping guys. All right, so Nala is now here. She's ready to also see some footage of Jury and Kimberly. So I'm excited about this. Um, if you guys don't know, I did get to play a little bit of Street Fighter VI at EVO. However, at the time, it was only the four character build that they had. Um, so these two were not available yet. Of course, they actually were announced at EVO. Um, but my experience with the game so far has been very positive. I really like the new mechanics. The game feels incredibly smooth. Charge characters like Chun-Li actually feel a little bit easier to charge, which is good for me because I love Chun. But So I'm really excited to see these two in action. So let's not waste any more time. They're about to start showing off this footage really soon, I think. So... Kimberly looks really cute hanging like that from the ceiling in her kind of like a her select screen pose really cute look at her abs jeez <laughs> look at jury what is she doing first of all why is she balancing on a dirty old tire? <laughs> but look at her outfit, like, I really like that they made it more, uh, more representative of her Street Fighter 4 outfit, which I think was better than Street Fighter 5. I have no idea what they're saying at all, so... But I'm just gonna assume they're saying something about Jury's feet and him being on a tire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to see them play. Come on, Nala says, hurry up. Nala wants, Nala wants to see gameplay. <laughs> mm. 
このままこれ登場も登場しないやんキンバリメンチ切ってるんですよ<笑>うわっジュリスゲホンマやストリートから似合いますねちょっとぜひ十字キーで表情を変えてもらえるとおおジュリーこれね、はいはい、これこれこれはいはいはい<笑> I really like this stage too. Okay, so I guess they're showing the movement. She's. She, okay, yeah, Jury's looks how I'd expect. But, uh, Kimberly's kind of like almost floating, with, like the way that she's dancing back and forth. Woo! And look at, like, how high she gets on her uh, jump. She's very light on her feet. I have no idea what they're talking about, but. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait. Did she. But she. I didn't see her charge that. Wait! I didn't see her charge! Huh! So have they changed this? So that she doesn't necessarily have to store her moves before inputting them? Or is there a possible- Oh! Or were they use <laughs> what is it? Were they uh or were they like uh using the modern controls maybe so that changes it? I don't know. Ooh. Okay, okay, oh shit. I love that pose! Look at she looks so good. They both look good. Oh and you can see that Kimberly is in like her her uh fatigued state that they get and that she has like a there's a different rest pose if you're in that state. Which I think is cool. Oh, man. It looks like she's gonna have some really interesting combos when people are able to work it out. <laughs> the grab animation looks good. Her <laughs> back dash. <laughs> oh! The, oh, the paint, uh, the paint colors, her spray paint colors look really cool. Ah, now it's scratching me. Oh! Oops. Spray paint didn't, uh, didn't help out that time, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so what is this? Are they looking back on it? And what? Okay, so... They're showing some basic like starter combos for Jury there. They... I'm really curious about how her storage or like charging moves work here. Man, Kimberly just looks so cool. She looks like she could be a character that's gonna be potentially good for like definitely Oh Like uh like drawing you in and getting you to whiff and then destroying you in the corner if they were to complete that full combo that I'm sure you could do. Oh my god, look at her wind pose that slide! Oh jeez, just just right away. Oh wait, that was a dive kick. Okay. I just saw a dive kick from Jury. 
Okay, so she put out some sort of spray can that seemed to have some sort of effect. It's almost... It, I can't tell what it's doing because she's just getting... <laughs> supered by jury. Oh, okay. I haven't seen this one yet. That looks like her parry stance. All the characters have parry. I think that was uh, Kimberly's parry stance she tried to do. Oh, wait, what just happened there? Okay, so I guess that just missed. Okay, there it is. Ah, that looks so cool! And then she just like prances away. So she basically, like, she can utilize the paint to kind of move differently, it seems like. Almost like a run, or runnish teleport, sort of. Okay, and so Jerry, I'm it's looking to me like you can tell she has, like, something stored because she's got that pink glow on her face. Foot, and it did not carry over from that other round but it also seemed it just it seemed like once like they actually were trying to start combos that they were able to go like right into some of those moves so I don't I really don't know how this is working in this game just from watching this I wish I could understand them <laughs> That's just so cool looking. <laughs> yeah, see, it's like it's, it, it's like a teleporty sort of movement. It changes with her movement. Woo! See, like, hmm. I'm wondering if maybe it's something... I don't know. I, I, I honestly have no idea. <laughs> it missed! No! Oh. <laughs> Kimberly's win, uh, win pose is really cute. Both her end of round win pose and her, like, actually end of match win pose. <laughs> Look at that color on Jury, what? Oh no, she looks so good. I mean, Kimberly's other color looks really good too, but look at the... Jury with a hair like that? Um, mm, mm, mwah. <laughs> so... Now, I feel like this time... It, I definitely saw they selected classic controls for Jury. So, oh, that dive kick, man. And that is definitely charging. So now I wonder if there, if it has like some difference between the modern and classic controls tied into. <laughs> I don't know. When I played it at Evo, I was using the classic controls, so... I didn't really check out the modern controls. So, I'm gonna have to hear, like, a translation of everything they were saying and discuss- it. Woo! And I don't know, I feel like Jury's got some sauce. But yeah, I'm gonna have to find out somebody who is gonna go through and translate and tell us what they actually said about the modern versus classic. 
Oh, and that's her parry. <laughs> yeah, so I can feel like Kimberly is potentially going to play a lot of games with that that kind of teleporting movement sort of option like she did there to try and, and draw opponents into um, whiffing and getting countered. Oh! Okay, that's really cool looking. That's cool looking. Was that a projectile that she threw out there? That looked like a little flame? Oh! 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 Oh yeah, they they were definitely holding back at first to try to show off things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and oh, you see what she when Jury flashed green there? Okay, this was something that I was uh when I was playing at Evo. It's a uh, a cancel that characters can also do cancels, um, and that you've got to figure out the timing a little bit. Um, but that's what when they flash green is because they canceled. Hmm? Oh shit. Oh. That was close. Oh, we went for the parry, but. And that's the thing about the parry is interesting. Um, and all the characters, you know, have their parries. But the one thing is that they are very, very punishable, so... Alright, and that was our Street Fighter VI gameplay footage of Jury and Kimberly. Uh, so after this, they basically just went on to show off a bunch of, like, products, which I presume I, like, you can't even get. Um, in the U.S. that are probably mostly just in Japan, so sad for me because there was this Chun-Li shirt that I really wanted. Ah! Um, and then move on to uh, talk about that they're going to have their next presentation at the Tokyo Game Show. So hopefully we'll get another character reveal there. Um, I'm still waiting to see Kami, um, but we'll see. There's also a, a variety of other new characters that people really want to, uh, to see put on display, but we know that they're also going to have the beta with all of these characters available, or um, the build, I should say, with all of these characters available at the Tokyo Game Show, so people will be playing it and presumably will get a good amount more gameplay footage coming out than uh, in the next week and a half-ish. So that'll be exciting, um, and that'll be our next Street Fighter VI update. I still, I'm going to need a translator to kind of explain to me what exactly it seemed like what was going on with Jury's um, charge moves, with her storage moves, and if it just had to do with the fact that there's the modern versus classic controls and one maybe operates a little bit differently than the other when it comes to those moves. I feel like I could see that making sense, potentially, um, but like I said, at EVO, I only used the classic moves, so I didn't really see the comparison between the two or, or play around with that myself. Um, yeah, so we'll see. But so far, I mean, Jury looks like she's potentially got some sauce. Like, she looks like she could be very good in this game. Um, Kimberly just looks ridiculously cool. I mean, everything that she has so far seems really interesting and, and different gameplay-wise. Um, her movement seems really interesting. It does seem like she's going to be a good character that you can play around with trying to get your opponent to put out something to poke or, or try to go after you, make a mistake, and then get get countered and punished brutally, and then you can go into what looks like, they don't have them down yet all the way, but what looks like potentially could be some pretty crazy combos. Um, 
especially with that kind of like little teleporty fast movement with the with the uh the spray cans and the different paint colors flopping it flying out it seems like uh yeah she has the potential to really really irritate people <laughs> um which will be fun <clears throat> so i really hope there's another opportunity that we can play this um sometime in the near future whether it be a beta or maybe they will bless us with another opportunity to play at new york comic-con but as you guys might be able to tell my voice is kind of giving out and i am quite tired and have to edit this so i think i'm gonna wrap it up but i'd like to hear your thoughts um on jury and kimberly and their gameplay on what you think will be coming next for street fighter 6 and who you hope to see revealed next um if there is a new character reveal at the Tokyo Game Show. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me, and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye!